Chapter 2 Meeting Peter Wait, Andy said fearfully. Who are you, he asked, unsure he even wanted to know. The figure stayed quiet but eventually replied, I'm Peter the Pumpkin. He glares at Andy, nice to meet ya. He said while starting to walk away. Andy caught up to him, wait. How long have you been in here? Peter stopped and glared at the inquisitive child, that doesn't matter. Want to play a game of tag? Peter changed the tone of his voice to sound more cheerful and persuasive as if he was trying to lure Andy into a trap. Andy backs away from Peter slowly. No. I'm just looking for my keys. Andy stated as he tried to walk away, getting a strange feeling about the pumpkin. Andy felt a hand on his shoulder, stopping him from continuing. He looked behind him. He felt a shiver crawl up his spine when he was met with a dead cold glare from Peter. Great, let's play, Peter continued to speak in his fake cheery and persuasive tone. Just this way to the haystack maze. Peter pulls Andy towards the maze, but Andy tries desperately to break from his grasp. They get closer to the entrance of the maze. Wait. Who even are you you you? Andy's words sounded glitchy as they entered the maze. As they enter the maze, Peter states, you're it. Catch me if you can. He then runs out of Andy's sight. Andy tries to use this as a way of escaping but the door was gone. Well, it looks like I have no other choice but to play his game, Andy tells himself as he goes the way he saw Peter go. He eventually sees Peter, ran up to him, and tags him. Peter turns to face the slightly scared Apple. Oh hey, you caught me. Good job. Andy had a strong unsettling feeling. I'm it, Peter said then gave a creepy smile. He had a villainous look in his eyes, as if he was planning something, most likely something dangerous. Run away if you can. The pumpkin's now demonic voice was enough to send Andy running. Peter wasn't far behind him. No matter where Andy ran, Peter was close behind. Andy kept running, scared of what could happen if he stopped. I'm getting quite annoyed with this cat and mouse chase, Peter growled, visibly annoyed by Andy's persistence. Then he got an idea. This ought to slow him down, as he raises his hand, some vines spring from the ground, ready to strike. As Andy ran near the vines, one wrapped around his foot causing him to fall and twist his ankle. Oh no. No, let go of me vines, he internally screamed. As a last effort, Andy tries to stand and get away but the vines pull him back to the ground. Suddenly, the vines wrap around him and stood him up, forcing him to stand on his twisted ankle. He held back a shout of pain, fearing what would happen. Andy tried to free himself from the vines but it was useless. The vines didn't budge or break at all. Well, would you look what the cat dragged in?